Christ has risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon us in the tombs, restoring life. Christ has risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon 
listen to this hymn to be slowly light. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs be slowly light. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards man. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards man. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Forgiving my brothers and sisters and each other our sins and transgressions. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
of ages. Amen.
majesty, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of
that stage it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my men servants and my maid servants, in those days I will pour out of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs on the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the day of the Lord comes the great and manifest day. And it shall be that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Peace be unto you, Yes, and certain women of our company who arrived at the tomb early 
astonished us. When they did not find his body, they came, saying that they had also seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. And certain of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. Then he said to them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken, ought not the Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Then they drew near to the village where they were going, and he indicated that he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to stay with them. Now it came to pass, as he sat at the table with them, that he took bread, blessed, and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished from their sight. And they said to one another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us on the road, and while he opened the scripture to us? So they rose up at that very hour, and returned to Jerusalem, and found the eleven and those who were with them gathered together, saying, The Lord is risen indeed, and has appeared to Simon. And they told about the things that had happened on the road, and how he was known to them in the breaking of Suffer and to die. 
He comes to hang upon the cross so that he may bring grace and salvation to all, all his creation. So it is not just a man who hangs upon the cross. It is not just, just God in a vision hanging upon the cross. In the early church there were those uh, who, who were called the Ebionites who believed that, that what happened on the cross was just a phantom. It was just something that appeared. It wasn't something that actually happened. But it is God himself who hangs on the cross. It is God himself who is buried. It is God himself who goes down into Hades. And when he rises from the dead, he brings with him those that were kept captive there. It is that that we are celebrating. It is that that we are celebrating. His resurrection. His resurrection and with his resurrection, the bringing of grace and salvation to all mankind. So this is the event which, which changes it changes the course of human history. It changes all of us because it gives us the power and the ability when we accept the grace and salvation that Christ offers through, through his death and resurrection. It gives us the power to be able to live as his faithful disciples, to be able to live with faith in the world in which we live. And the world in which we live is in much need of the grace and salvation offered by the risen Christ. We live in a world which, perhaps more than at any time in human history, is in need of the message of Holy Pascha, that Christ is risen from the dead, granting life to all mankind. We live in a world that too often um, Holy Pascha or, or Easter is restricted to a few hours on Easter Sunday and is culminated for many people in, in chasing Easter eggs around outside of uh, church, but we know that we live in a world which needs the risen Christ, needs the power, the grace, and the salvation which comes because Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen. He is risen. Let us say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say. Elsie, John, Meredith, Ralph, Stamatanula, 
Elena, Laura, Justin, Theodore, Alexandra, John, George, Calliope, the infant Finn, Mary Kay, Mark, Iskra, William, Nina, Stephen, Susan, Elena, the priest John, and the newborn servant of God, Harper, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Thank 
finding churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly define the word of thy truth. Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the precious gifts offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. And our God who loves mankind, receiving upon his holy heavenly and noetic altar as a sweet spiritual. Fragrance will send down upon us from eternity divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. At the whole day, be perfect, holy, peaceful, and let us ask of the Lord. Lord, Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Pardon it. Uh, all things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Lord, Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith, the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Lord. Lord. we commend our whole life and our hopeful master who loves mankind. We ask thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Make us worthy to partake of the heavenly and awesome mysteries of the sacred and spiritual table with a, with a pure conscience, for remission of sins, forgiveness of transgressions, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards thee, but not for judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call thee the heavenly God, as Father, and to save. Master, distribute these gifts here offered, 
Unto all of us for good, according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel by land and by air. Heal the sick, O thou who art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love towards mankind, of the only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy holy good, and thy great spirit, God, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Attend the Lord Jesus Christ our God, under the holy joy from the throne of the Lord thy kingdom, and come to sanctify us, O thou who sits on high with the Father, and our very <coughs> visitor present with us, and by thy mighty hand impart unto us thy most pure body and precious blood, and through us to all the people. Let us attend the holy things our for the Neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. 
received by the unworthy priest Paisi for the remission of his sins.
resurrection, for salvation, and hallowing of soul and body, for dispersion of every illusion, evil deed, and diabolic work directed against thee. May the deed for boldness and love towards you, for perfection and constancy of life, for growth and virtue and perfection, for fulfillment of your commandments, and communion with your Holy Spirit. May they be for food that you for that life to come and for good response before your dread judgment seat, but not for judgment or condemnation. O Master, I am not worthy to have you come under the roof of my soul, but as you, being the love of mankind, want to dwell in me and most boldly, command me, and I shall open the doors of my soul to you yourself and me. And you will enter with your constant love for mankind and enlighten my heart and mind. I do believe that you will do this, for you did not send away the harlot who came to your tears, nor did you drive away the publican or repented, nor did you, nor the gate that acknowledged your kingdom, nor did you abandon all the persecutors who persecuted you.
precious blood and body of our Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ is received by the servant God James for the mission of sins and life. Save, O God, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Pure Mother and of all the saints, 
Have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good and loves mankind. Christos was us. Christ is risen. Christos I envy. Christos I envy.